comrades, this is Shetty here, and as you guys can tell by the title, inside today's video, I am going to be taking a look at M. Night Shyamalan's 2021 horror film, Old, which was released a couple months back in July. Now, I originally saw this film in theaters opening night, and I enjoyed it, but I didn't really think a whole lot of it. It was kind of just your standard horror affair, until around a week ago where I decided to rewatch the movie, where I've sort of developed a newfound appreciation for the film that I feel has been overlooked by many others. When I say I enjoyed Old originally, I did have a really good time with it, and I feel like I've said this about a lot of 2021 releases this year, such as Dune or Halloween Kills, but to me, this movie almost felt like an event to see in theaters. That's mainly due to the fact that, you know, I was with a big group of people. It was opening night, as I said. And this movie has a very fun, mysterious vibe to it that makes it very entertaining to watch with a large group of people. Now, as far as Mr. M. Night Shyamalan's work goes, I'm pretty mixed, as are many others. Personally, you know, I really enjoy films like Split, Signs, and The Village. But at the same time, when he's made movies like Avatar The Last Airbender and After Earth, it makes going into a film of his slightly unpredictable. But the marketing for this movie did not exactly work for me, but I wasn't going to let that deter me from actually seeing the movie. This year especially, I've been trying to go into a lot of these new releases with a more positive outlook and not going in thinking, oh, I'm going to hate the movie because you're not going to like the movie as much if you think that way going into it. So as I read about the film leading up to its release, I was decently excited, and as I said, it lived up to my expectations. It was a pretty enjoyable time in the cinema. The film ended up growing around $90 million, uh, with a budget of around $20 million, and that's mainly due to the fact that this falls into the new and ever-growing high-concept horror niche. And whenever I say high concept, I'm basically talking about, you know, A Quiet Place, Bird Box, Jordan Peele's films, for instance. Basically, horror movies that you take them, they have a simple premise to them, and you sell tickets based off that premise. For instance, with A Quiet Place, you make noise, you die. It's simple, it's easy, it's to the point. It was very easy for the studio to market as well, and both of those films ended up being a massive hit. And with Old, it's basically a group of people on a beach. They start aging rapidly. They don't know what's going on. And that's really all you need to know going into the movie. And in a weird way, Old reminded me a lot of 2008's The Ruins, which is definitely a guilty pleasure pick of mine. Both films basically revolve around a group of tourists leaving their uh, resorts, going to these natural sites where they get trapped and then people die from there. And I would really like to do a video comparing those two films. So if you guys would like to see that, definitely comment down below and leave a like. Uh, but yeah, with Old, that was about it for my first time experience. As I said, I didn't really think much of it. And then around a week ago, I decided to rewatch the film with the fam, and I really had a good time with this. If you had asked me a month ago what my guilty pleasure pick of the year is, I definitely would have said Escape Room Tournament of Champions, but I'm sorry to all you Escape Room lovers out there. I personally really enjoy those films, but Old's got to take the crown on this one. There's so many aspects I didn't exactly appreciate the first time around that I really did on my second viewing. For instance, the cinematography in this is absolutely gorgeous. The movie was shot on film, and it definitely shows. M. Night Shyamalan conveys so much through his camera movement here. And in fact, the director himself did an interview with Vanity Fair where he breaks down a scene from the movie. And I definitely recommend checking that out because it's very cool to hear about how he used like Australian new wave techniques when it came to the camera movement. So that aspect of the film, technically, it was super well done and the sound design was incredible as well as the score. The cast here is also pretty solid. One of the biggest complaints with M. Night Shyamalan's films, more of his more recent ones though, is his awkward dialogue and to a certain extent i can understand what people mean by that but i do think by having awkward dialogue he's trying to convey realism in his films because people don't speak like you see them speak in you know movies most movies with the quips and stuff human conversation is bound to be awkward especially with when you're with completely random people which is why i think the awkwardness works in old so well because these people have no idea what's going on. They're on the beach with completely random people. They're trying to figure out what's going on. So the awkward dialogue kind of works for me here. And Old is also just a very weird movie, if you couldn't tell that already. And personally, I think that's a great thing because it shows that studios can trust filmmakers to make some weird movies that kind of go off the rails. Because as I said, Old was a massive success. And even if the movie was a disaster, 
I would take it any day over something like The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, another 2021 horror release. That movie felt so bland. There was so much studio influence behind it to the point where it didn't even feel like the original director's original vision for it which is part of the reason why I really respect filmmakers like M. Night Shyamalan, Tarantino, or even Rob Zombie, just because of how much their work feels like their own. And as with an M. Night Shyamalan movie, you do have a twist here. And while it isn't a twist, uh, like something in the sixth sense, where you completely rethink the movie, uh, it does leave you questioning in a good way, which is obviously the main purpose behind it. And with a film that's about people rapidly aging, you do get some pretty gnarly body horror in here. Although I would have liked to see a bit more. In fact, that's really my only complaint with the film. I feel like they could have gone a bit further with the kills. I would have preferred some practical effects over the CGI. Although I do understand why they use CGI. It's a lot cheaper than using practical effects. And at the same time, this movie is not really about the kills, it's more about the characters, mainly the main family that you follow from the beginning of the film to the end of the movie. And with, you know, characters like that, obviously, that lends itself to some deeper messages or themes, such as family and time and what we do with it. But this is a very entertaining film, and if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend doing so. I believe it is available for rental on uh, Vudu, Amazon, YouTube, wherever you rent movies from. And guys, I'm going to give Old a solid 9.6 out of 10. That's the video. If you guys did enjoy it, as always, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And anyways, I'll see you guys soon with some brand new content. This is Chai Sun off. Peace out.